Hey guys, we have some very powerful energy present for us today. We have a couple of different things going on that are both very significant and in combination are likely to lead to a day that is really powerful, really transformative, maybe some really intense or just meaningful or significant encounters, conversations, messages coming through. There is a huge air of divine alignment, divine timing written in the stars, things falling into place in the energy today. We have an exact Sun-Pluto conjunction, our greatest source of light, the life force energy in an exact alignment with the Lord of the underworld, the Lord of the shadows, the Lord of darkness, illumination, secrets revealed, light being shown into the shadows in a way that doesn't typically happen, exposing something that's been hidden under the surface. This is the type of energy that we're dealing with. In the context of Mercury also stationing direct in the sky today, you guys, in a nearly exact trine to the North Node. Faded information, faded messages, gaining some type of an awareness about things from the past that have been hidden in a way that just really opens our eyes to something, changes something for us in probably a pretty significant way moving through this week that is also characterized by Uranus, expect the unexpected, great awakening energy. So... That being said, let's get into this chart, you guys. Let's look how this energy is coming together for us and get into some more specific details about what we may be able to expect <laughs> as we are navigating these dynamics today. Welcome back to my channel, you guys. Today is Wednesday, January 18th, 2023. My name is Aubrey. This is your astrological outlook of the day. If you stick with me till the end of the report, we are also going to be looking at a collective tarot reading that I did for the day as well because I like to tap the energetic field from more than one modality just to get a more well-rounded overview, see from a couple different energetic perspectives what we have playing out for us vibrationally on any given day. So we're going to do that at the end as well. But we are starting with the astrology. We always start with the astrology and today is one of those days. Like I said, if you guys watched my video from yesterday about the energy that we had yesterday and what is sort of pending as we head towards this week, I feel like this, even though we've just started this 2023 year, I do feel like this week specifically is one of the more critical energetic weeks of this year. We have so much happening and there's just, there's such a strong Uranian influence in the energy this week as well and in the context of us you know narrating the shift of the ages and our transition into the age of Aquarius when we have these very highly active Uranus Aquarius frequency vibration windows going on as a part of that process as we are going through this transition you know, it makes sense that these times might be a little more, pack a little bit more of a significant punch in terms of what's happening, in terms of us actually going through this progression and making these shifts on this vibrational frequency-based level that is helping to align us with these incoming frequencies of this new paradigm to which we are transitioning into now. So basically what I'm trying to say with all of those words is I feel like this week right here is doing a lot to recalibrate us or to adjust our frequency or to just calibrate us in the first place to these Aquarian energies frequencies that are coming in in preparation for this transition to the age of Aquarius and this year also right it's I've been saying since we started this 2023 year there was a lot of indications present um, in the energy as we began this year that were suggesting that this would be a year where we would start to go through this individualized process of self-actualization and sort of begin to come collectively back into a state of um, more internalized personal power also you know with Pluto about to enter the sign of Aquarius this year as well so you know that's its whole own little subject and I'm not really trying to go into all of that right now but basically I feel like this week is significant in this greater shift that is going on that is moving us in that direction and I feel like the fates are speaking today I feel like today specifically is one of those days where there is just a divine orchestration of events happening 
I feel like a lot of things that have been held back <laughs> while we've had all of these retrogrades, a lot of, you know, things that we thought weren't happening or weren't working, or maybe, you know, you know, we thought we had a feeling about something. We thought something was going in a certain direction, but oh wait, maybe not. Maybe I was wrong about that. Maybe that wasn't happening at all. Well, I feel like those things are about to be sort of back on the table in sort of a major way and in a better way that is going to be more conducive to supporting our process of individualized growth and coming into our own potential in this 2023 year. I feel like things are going to start moving again, but in a better way. And, you know, even in terms of things that maybe we thought weren't going to be happening at all anymore, but it's happening according to like it needed to happen now for some reason, it took this long for the proper pieces to come into place so that the progression of events can unfold properly, which also makes sense. You no, know, we just had Mars go direct and now we're having Mercury go direct and we're about to have Uranus go direct as well. And we're going to have all these direct planets. So it's just, we needed for whatever reason, all the energy to be flowing forward in a streamlined manner coherently after the process of all of this retrograde energy we've dealt with going through 2022 in order to bring us to this place where we're finally ready to like start making some real progress in terms of these very significant personal changes, personal growth that we've been going through. And really in a lot of cases for a lot of people kind of like readjusting the trajectory of our entire course going forward right now based on this new version of ourselves essentially that we are discovering and that we are feeling and finding emerging within us now so being activated this week you guys things happening according to this divine alignment through the rest of the week through this weekend this sun pluto conjunction that we have happening today is actually happening at 29 degrees of capricorn that sabian symbol is a woman reading tea leaves and in the context again of this retrograde energy and of these holdups and these drawbacks and these adjustments and these readjustments and these revisions and this, you know, additional phase of uh, per learning perhaps that we had to go through for one reason or another. It, again, like the woman reading tea leaves where Pluto and the sun are today in the context of Mercury also stationing direct. Mercury is stationing direct at nine degrees of Capricorn and angel carrying a harp. So it's like, you know, Again, like maybe things that we thought or that we saw or that we envisioned to be happening in the past but never took form or never followed through or never like lost momentum for some reason or another coming back around according to sort of like a divine symphony or a divinely timed orchestration of events that is playing out now. I've also lately been really feeling like this like domino effect or this like keys turning in locks that like open different gears that cause different chain reactions. Like chain reactions has been a vibe that I've been like really picking up lately too in alignment with like these, um, these North Node activations and this like more stuff has been waiting, building to this point to get ready to happen. There was certain sequences of events that needed to happen in order to set us up properly for what is about to start taking place. Extremely powerful energy though today, especially you guys regarding messages, communications, what we're learning, what we're discovering, what we're figuring out with Mercury stationing to go direct today. Pluto and the sun conjunction, simultaneous, very transformative energy. The place that we're coming to now, the way things are coming together now, the mindsets that we have now, the perspective that we're seeing things through now, this is changing us and this is changing the way that we are going to be like Mars and Gemini using our action, allowing our, our mind to lead to an actual like physical output of energy. We're changing our behavior, you guys, going forward. And with all this Venus, Uranus, mutual reception, Aquarius energy, it's also like detaching from that, which is not resonating with us anymore. We are really seeking a strong soul, mental meeting of the mind on the same vibration resonance when it comes to people, relationships, situations, circumstances right now. And... This week, you guys, with all this Uranus energy, universe is making the changes for us we haven't been able to make for ourselves and 
things are getting put back on a proper course, whether we like it or not. And we may not like it at first. It may be uncomfortable. You know, that's what this Uranus energy does, but it's blessings in disguise. It's silver linings. And this is the type of vibe. This is the type of week where it's like the breakdowns that happen or, you know, what seems to be falling away right now is actually going to lead to an experience or a situation where we are like, yeah, you know, that happened. Would I necessarily want to do it again? No but I would never change it because it ended up leading to, you know, this much better place or thing or situation that I experienced as a result of that. So we are wading through those waters this week as well. Mercury station direct in Capricorn. It's not just a station in Capricorn. Mercury is also in a trine to the North Node in Taurus. What other planet do we have right now in Taurus that we keep talking about? That is all the business this week. That would be Uranus. Right. So we've got the North Node in Taurus. We've got Uranus in Taurus. We've got Mercury in Capricorn stationing direct in the trine to the North Node in Taurus. What does the North Node represent? This is destiny. This is fate. This is the path ahead. This is the next phase of growth. This is the next lesson plan. This is those sequences of events. Uh, this is that domino effect and things falling into place according to a higher plan, a cosmic blueprint. Mercury, the messenger planet, news, information, communication, what we're learning, what we're talking about things getting back on track things moving forward there could definitely be some faded messages interactions communications re like adjustments or adjustments meetings going on today that are very powerful they could be very influential in some type of a way they could have to do with power struggles or vying for power or things coming to a head likely to be very illuminating likely to be very revealing likely to be honestly with the Uranus impact like electrifying perhaps in one way or another as well this could be some mind-blowing stuff or some mind-bending stuff or just some stuff that like just really flips the script changes the game for us in the significance of its nature what's coming out this week you know and we will get more into the themes that this is likely to be uh referring to you know if you look at your chart your own chart you can look at where mercury is in the house placement right now what house is mercury in in the sign of capricorn right now this can tell you, you know, what area of life may be impacted by whatever it is that you're hearing or communicating or the ideas that are coming to you in this energy as well. This is also, you guys, very, very powerful ideas. This is also on a more like psychological level for people that it's impacting that way. This is like literally an ability to like crack our own subconscious algorithms, like to crack our own psychic code essentially our own subconscious code and really like reprogram our mentality in a way that is much more conducive to our success with it happening in the sign of Capricorn because if you think about it on one level as well this is the light this is the sun this is the illumination this is the life force energy penetrating into the darkness into Pluto, Scorpio, the dark, deep recesses of like our psyche right that houses and holds our subconscious programming and all of the, you know, deep and powerful urges and patterns that are existing within that sphere of our psyche. Now, the light shining into that in the context of Mercury also stationing direct, this is that mental energy, very strong. Whenever a planet is stationing in the sky, you guys, its energy is amplified like tremendously. And in the context also of this very powerful and penetrating force that is allowing us to peer into like the inner workings of things and come up with actually profound solutions. Like we could be solving a lot of our own problems today. There's also a very healing vibration. This could be very, very deeply psychologically healing to us on some level. Pluto is this regenerative, deeply healing force as well. We also have the moon in Sagittarius today. That's another aspect of things. The moon is transiting the sign of Sagittarius and will be forming a trine to Chiron today. So there is an indication of healing going on along those lines as well. The position of the North Node simultaneously 10 degrees of Taurus today Mercury is at nine degrees of Capricorn North node at 10 Taurus that's where we're getting this trine from of course Mercury is also forming the sextile to the south node which is talking about this uh facilitated mental release from toxic mental psychological complexes of the past as well coming into this healing energy but with 10 degrees of Taurus the position of the north node this is also the destiny point this is also where we're going this is the next phase of 
growth, right? That Sabian symbol is a Red Cross nurse. So this is obviously inherently talking about an intervention in terms of some type of problem maybe or healing, revitalizing, fixing something, coming up with a solution. So there is actually you know, an undertone of some very profoundly strong, powerful healing, regenerating energy that is coming in for us today. And it is on that mental level. We're talking about Mercury. Mercury rules the mind. We're talking about, you know, also Mars in the sign of Gemini right now. Mars going direct as well. And with the trying to Chiron from the moon, this is an emotional expansion See, the moon in Sagittarius as well, this is another additional layer of truth that is also coming through in the energy today. Not only are we seeing into the shadows, but the moon in Sagittarius is giving us an emotional alignment with a higher truth. Even though it should also help us to stay a bit more optimistic about things today, even though there may be some more like ugly truths or ugly sides of things. I mean, we're staring into the shadows. So what we find there may not be rainbows and sunshine and sparkles and glitter and butterflies. You know, it's we're looking for the problems, the roots, the whatever is like festering under the surface that has not been promoting proper growth and success. Ultimately, with the trine from Mercury to uh, the North Node in the sign of Taurus. But with the moon in Sagittarius, this is just a, a level of optimism and positivity that is available for us today too. So healing energy, revelations, secrets revealed, an aspect of things that we originally saw or said or thought or that we thought maybe had been we'd been wrong about at this point because they didn't come through to fruition coming back around and coming to pass now the woman reading tea leaves the uh position of the sun and pluto together this is like past like prophecies and stuff coming to pass this is like future proves past type of energy, okay? Faded meetings, conversations, connections that get things moving or put things back on track. Things being divinely orchestrated, as I've said several times, Mercury stationing direct today, nine degrees of Capricorn, an angel carrying a harp. Like that literally is like divine orchestration. Like spiritual forces strumming the frequencies that are helping things to come back get back on track in a way that they can start moving forward with the trying to the north north node the red cross nurse in a way that is healing us that is fixing us and that is intervening in perhaps whatever problems we may find ourselves in it's interesting also because chiron right now is actually at 13 degrees of aries that sabian symbol is a bomb which failed to go off is now safely hidden from discovery which chiron is being aspected by the moon today as well so we've got the red cross nurse we've got the bomb that failed to go off this is like you know crisis averted and interventions taking place on some level so, you know, just more indication of this healing influence or possibly a need to heal something that we are all, we are gaining an awareness of in this energy coming through in this energy as well. Now let's talk about Venus for a minute. She is playing symbolically into what we have going on today. And she's actually, even though she's not involved in terms of aspects today, she is holding a prominent position and she's playing a significant role right now. And that's because she's ruling the position of Uranus and she's in a mutual reception with Uranus. Venus and Uranus right now, you guys, are in each other's signs. Uranus is in Taurus, Venus is in Aquarius. So there is a blending of the Venetian and the Aquarian energy. Now this on one hand is actually blessing us with an ability to detach from that which is not vibing with us, which is not resonating with us and our trajectory towards growth because of these, uh, th the ability of or the desire rather of Venus to be on the same frequency with people to resonate on that heart based level to be on the same page as someone to be in the same frequency in the same like space as someone on a heart level without even necessarily needing to talk about it like that's really this Venus Aquarius vibe It is being able to feel on a heart based level the frequency and the resonance of the people that we are relating with and to sort of 
choose <laughs> accordingly that way, that which is a match for us and therefore that which is supportive of us based on the frequency that we're picking up as opposed to, you know, a million other ways that we could be relating to people. When we have Venus and Aquarius and or Venus and Uranus in a mutual reception like that, it really is about relating to people based on this frequency. And as we are transitioning into the age of Aquarius right now, it's like we're getting an upgrade in this frequency. We're getting, like I said, like recalibrated or realigned or tuned in more, I guess you could say, to the frequency that is going to be coming in over this next 2000 years as we transition to the age of Aquarius. And that is another reason why we are like harmonically with the angel carrying the harp, the Aquarius detaches. We detach from that, which is not a match for the vibration of our heart energy. And it's playing a role in terms of these transformations that are going on right now. But a lot of it also has to do with these revelations and these secrets revealed and these things that we're finding out. Venus and Aqu or Venus and the or Aquarius. Okay, hold on, guys. Uranus in the sign of Taurus as well, with all the emphasis on Uranus this week, while in the mutual reception with Venus and Aquarius, is really going to be causing some major shakeups, though, to the Venus oriented things. In order so that we really come to a place where we're like digging deep and tapping into our potential and stepping into our value, you know, discovering our value and moving into it, cultivating it. That is what Uranus and Taurus wants us to do, to awaken us to the truth of our own value, our own potential, and put us in situations where that is the path of growth. That is what we are manifesting. That is what we are creating. That is what we are producing. And we are, you know, Venus and Aquarius in alignment with our true and authentic self. And as we move into this week, highlight on Uranus in Taurus and we enter Aquarius season as well. There's just likely to be a lot of shifts, rearrangements, realignments going on in the realms of love, money, relationships, partnerships, resources, food, supplies, projects, like creative projects, all of the Taurus themes. Okay. Again, if you want to know, you know, how this is most likely to affect you personally, look at where Uranus is located in your chart. Look at where Taurus is located in your chart. Uh, 15 degrees of Taurus actually is where Uranus is. And that might tell you where you might have this awakening or where there could be some shakeups, what area of life this could be affecting you. But anyways, back to, you know, specifics about Venus today. Venus is ruling the position of Uranus. She is at 20 degrees of Aquarius today. That Sabian symbol is a large white dove bearing a message. So here we are back again, even if we circle it back to the rulership position of Uranus in his strength right now, we're still talking about message bearer, which is Mercury, which is Mercury direct, which is forming the trine to the North Node in Taurus, in the sign of Venus, which is talking about faded messages. There's just faded messages all over the way that this energy is presenting more message themes, possibly also hope, renewed hope, perhaps, or some type of crucial just information coming through, but faded messages kind of any way you slice it. And you know, this again, could be meetings, interactions, just running into somebody overhearing something like synchronicities, even like animal sightings, like all types, however, you know, you are interpreting various signs, symbols, whatever in your reality, or it like could legitimately be somebody sending you a message or a piece of information or learning something new or <laughs> probably it's just illumination though. Like I, with the, you know, we, I, I, I try to go in a bunch of different directions with it, right? But then like actually when I'm thinking about it, it kind of just like all comes back to the same thing because we are talking about Pluto and the sun and, you know, Mercury going direct, yes, but it's in the same sign. They're both in Capricorn, Pluto and the sun, Capricorn, Mercury direct, Capricorn. And then we've got the North Node. There's just some big things that are about to be exposed, you guys. Seen, exposed, spreading. Another thing about the Sun-Pluto conjunction that I find to be very telling about what's playing out. You know, this is powerful people. It's happening in the sign of Capricorn. This is a sign of the boss. This is a sign of leadership, rulership, authority, um, government, okay? Powerful people in places of power being exposed. Sun conjunct Pluto for things that have gone on in the shadows, behind the scenes, behind closed doors, under the surface of things. Again, seen exposed and spreading. 
because listen to this we also you guys and this is like a little preview of what's to come we have the black moon moving today to two degrees of a of Leo. The black moon is now in Leo. We mean two degrees of Leo. This is where the black moon is going to be for our new moon in Aquarius. It's actually going to be in an exact opposition to the black moon in Leo. We've got a lot to talk about about that, you guys. But you know, just briefly mentioning the dynamic of this energy as it's playing out, two degrees of the sign of Leo, that Sabian symbol is an epidemic of mumps. When we're talking about the black moon and the sign of Leo, especially to kick off this process, that to me has a lot to do with the dark side of power and rulership gaining a sense of awareness. And with the black moon at this degree, sort of like spreading like a virus or spreading like wildfire, kind of for all to see in the context of this sun pluto conjunction in the sign of capricorn that is that is this authority that is this bosses these regulators these rule makers government leadership people in power the sun the pluto and then the black moon in the sign of leo about the shadow side of of power and of rulership, the sign of the king, right? And rulers, this, and then at the, this degree, the epidemic of mumps, like, I just feel like information is really going to be spreading about perhaps some ugly things that have been going on in the um, rulemaking sectors of society. We'll put it like that. Revelations, secrets revealed, confessions of guilt, people coming clean about deep feelings and hidden motives, mind-blowing information, massive transformations in thought, viewpoint, and perspective having to do with authority, leadership, career, financial institutions, big business, government, rulership, resources, relationships, partnerships, projects, supplies, money, hidden plans, hidden agendas, people pulling strings behind the scenes, bribery, coercion, lying, cheating, stealing. Also people just exposing their true thoughts, feelings, and beliefs about things generally. Coming clean is a huge theme of this energy coming up. People just spilling out their feelings, things that have been long repressed or long held back or that, you know, they haven't been talking about or that have been just weighing heavy on their heart. Like this is releasing that type of stuff as well. Burning things down, burning bridges as well. Well, clashing of wills, intense power struggles, people vying for power and control, but we have this wild card energy. That's the thing. That's what Uranus is. Uranus is the wild card. No one is truly in control of anything right now, despite, you know, people's misconceptions that, that they might be besides God's spirit universe with so much Uranus energy playing out. That is the wild card energy. That is the trump card, you guys, this Uranus energy and things are going to go according to God's plan. God's plan will always supersede the plans of man. So this is a week, you know, where we can try to make all the plans that we want to, but there's a greater agenda playing out, there's a higher plan playing out, and that is the way that things are going to go. The course that Uranus has set forth for us right now is the course that this blueprint is going to be unfolding along the lines of. So the best thing that we can do, you guys, this week is to take our illumination that we are sure to gain in one way or another, our revelations, our insight, our ideas, and our faith in the unfolding process of universe right now, and just go with the flow of where this divine intervention is trying to take us because North Node, Red Cross nurse, there, this is a, a, a divine intervention that is coming into play right now and um, things are being put right in true Uranus flavor and fashion. But they just, you know... <laughs> It's unpredictable. Expect the unexpected. It's impossible to say, you know, what things are going to look like after we go through this uh, energetic jolt. OK, but that's what it is. And it's meant to be. All right. All right, you guys. So no fear, no worries. 
we are trusting the plan, okay? And we are having faith that things are unfolding according to the necessary sequence of events that is ultimately going to bring us to a place of significantly greater stability and fulfillment and an ability to go through this process of growth manifest and materialize our goals and our pursuits based in this authentic potential that we are realizing and discovering within us now and also the value that that represents for us in terms of the new relationship that we're cultivating with ourselves and as a result this desire to maybe detach from situations from the past that are, are no longer on that matching frequency to us as we've been going through this process. So that's what I have to say today, you guys, in terms of the astrology, it is um, just a very powerful day. Again, obviously significant energy going on. In terms of the tarot cards that we have coming out, we also have a powerful message here. And this message generally is speaking to me about the process that we are going through actually helping to put us back into a place of self-empowerment, which is to me the theme of this entire year is sort of these divine interventions and these awakenings coming through that are showing us the truth of our value and our potential and our power, which are therefore as a result, creating a, uh, bringing us individually, which then translates into more of a collective situation into a place of individual self-empowerment, which we're, you know, also with Pluto entering Aquarius this year, that is, another dimension of the energy playing out and the trajectory of this progression. But anyways, talk about the tarot. The first card we had coming out is the emperor. On his throne, you guys, Jupiter in the sign of Aries, the risks that we take in alignment with our passions, following our passions. We need to make plans. We need to, uh, you know, work hard towards our goals. We need to be willing to put in the work. We need to be strategic in what we do, but we're going to be successful. This is leading to a much greater sense of self-empowerment. Next card that came out, I love seeing this. I love seeing this. The Four of Cups in reverse. The Four of Cups is an energy about apathy and not even really a desire to make it happen, like just not even caring anymore, like not taking advantage of opportunities, not feeling any type of inspiration towards life, okay? But when we have it coming out in reverse, this to me is telling me that we are coming to the end of a phase where we have been either overlooking opportunities or, you know, uninspired or unmotivated. Like we are ready to get to work, like we are ready to make some things happen and we are just coming to a point of being massively more self-empowered towards manifesting whatever it is that will bring us back to this place of feeling like we are playing a more active role in the trajectory and creation of our own life and of our own circumstances at this point in time. And then we got the star, you guys. Of course, this Uranus energy, this Aquarius energy coming through. And in something about an inspiration, something that is happening, Aquarius season over the course of this next couple of weeks, over the course of this week, over the course of the next several days when you're in a stations direct, some type of an awakening, some type of inspiration, some type of healing that is re-inspiring us, right? That is taking us out of this place of apathy or out of this place of self-doubt or out of this place of depression that is, you know, again, re-inspiring us to take back the reins of our experience and begin creating something, begin moving towards something, begin initiating something that makes us feel powerful again. On the back of the deck, we got a whole bunch of cards that I, I'm looking at all, like all of these cards that came out in reverse. And then we've got the hanged man energy. We've got the hanged man energy going on as well. But um, this is basically telling me that, you know, this Mercury retrograde period, you know, things have been upside down, things have been hauled, stalled, things have been stagnant, but we've been gaining a new perspective. And, you know, the ideas, the lack of clarity, the lack of faith and trust in ourselves and our ability to make something happen, um, not being able to get out of past cycles and situations, feeling like the partnerships and the relationship dynamics in our life are no longer a match for who we truly are and our ability to like make progress moving forward like all of those things that have been stalled stagnant held back as a result of us being in this hanged man energy and this four of cups energy it's being cleared with some type of aquarius vibe of uranus energy uh awakening inspiration revelation illumination the lights turning on like us shoot wishing on a star um 
being like gaining some type of nourishment or just something that is re-inspiring us. We're being re-inspired somehow, you know, maybe by getting or the maybe by things like falling apart in a way that is re-inspiring us or lighting a fire underneath this as well. But regardless, this Aquarius energy is directly right now related to our ability to make something happen for ourselves and to come back into this place of power in our own lives and experience. That's what the push is right now. And like I said, I feel like in this whole 2023 year, it's a year of individual self-empowerment based on the recognition of our truth and of our value and no longer being willing to sacrifice that in order to receive with the black moon and Leo this year, like love or glorification or gratification or affection or attention or like glory or just validation or status or stuff like that from others. We are no longer willing in this Black Moon and Leo energy to sacrifice our authentic truth so that we can gain the attention or the admiration or the love of other people. And with Pluto moving in the sign of Aquarius this year, that's probably, you know, it's okay. Like those things go together because that is no longer what is going to be, what people are going to consider powerful anyways. The power is going to be with the individual, with uh, our own uniqueness and with the potential of that uniqueness to, um, serve the the overall whole in some type of way. And we will talk so much more about that, you guys. I'm not going to get into all that right now. Let's grab a synchronicity card, okay? Um, God, Spirit, Universe, what is a piece of advice that we can use for this day? Pluto, Sun, Mercury, Direct. What do we need to know? What can benefit us? And this message fits right in perfect with the vibes that are coming through today, you guys. It says, forget the past. And we've been talking all about how we are energetically on a, even the frequency based level falling out of alignment with the past this week in this energy and moving forward. Forget the past. Do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Didn't I say that as well? The Pluto and the sun Mercury going direct in the sign of Capricorn. This is giving us the ability to heal and to regenerate, to purge, transform our psyche on these really deep levels as well, which change your mind, change your reality, right? Like, and the Uranus energy suddenly, drastically, an amazing way. <laughs> okay, give up your worldly beliefs and learn the truths of life. Feed your subconscious mind with life-giving patterns. I'm sorry, I have to stop again. The sun, the greatest, this is, this is the life force energy, right? Pluto, this is the subconscious mind. This card is so perfect. That's because that's what we're doing today. We're feeding the subconscious aspects of our mind with this life force energy. And as a result of that, there's this healing that's underway and we're figuring things out and it's totally on this frequency level making changes for us, okay? Give up, I'm gonna start over. Give up your worldly beliefs and learn the truths of life. Feed your subconscious mind with life-giving patterns. Accept the positive aspects of God and let go of all the negativity. Forget the past. Get on with the future Uranus energy. In this way, your spirit will gradually grow and you will meet your goal. <laughs> Sometimes you guys, I like, I just can't with the accuracy of the messages as they're coming out. Like it literally said, forget the past, four of cups in reverse, see you, forget the past. Uh, in this way, your spirit will gradually grow, right? The star energy, you will be re-inspired and you will reach your goal, the emperor energy. We're on to something today, you guys. Th Perfect correlations happening between the astrology, the tarot cards, and also this little teeny synchronicity card that like ties it all together so amazingly and just like really points out to me the most significant 
parts of what this energy is trying to bring to us. So that's the advice today, you guys. Forget the past, surrender to the changes, and prepare to receive and embrace the future. Uranus in the sign of Taurus, this feminine energy, we are receiving the potential that is trying to come to us now. So that's what I have to say today, you guys. Message from the stars, message from the cards. I hope you guys liked it. I hope uh, I was able to provide something for you that can give you just a little bit of maybe whatever you're needing as you go throughout your day today. If you guys did like this video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, share it with your friends if you think they would like this type of astrology content, be interested in this as well. Um, I have a Facebook page, a Facebook group, an Instagram, some other social medias in my description box below. For those of you who don't know or haven't heard me say this, I also write a blog every day, you guys, that goes along with these videos. Of course, it's not as long as these videos. It's not these videos, but it's sort of like a medium length summary of the energy as it's coming out. And so I post that in my Facebook group. So if you're into reading about astrology as well as watching about it, you might want to check that out as well. Uh, link in the description box below. I also post like shorts and other just short educational astrology content <laughs> over there. So I've got that going on. Leave me comments, you guys. I'm so grateful for all of you. Thank you guys so much for being here. I love your feedback. Uh, thanks for telling me also like how these aspects are affecting you. I really like knowing how things are playing out for you guys as well thank you again and come back with me tomorrow you guys we're not gonna have too too much going on but the moon will come into conjunction with mercury direct and capricorn tomorrow as it's preparing to head into aquarius for our new moon in aquarius and um just more of this mercury energy is going to be very significant and prominent in the field tomorrow so i will be here to talk about that and then we will move into uh, Friday in the weekend, which is going to be more of this big, 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 big Uranus electrifying energy. So I will be here, you guys. You should be here too. You don't want to miss it. And I will see you then, everyone. Have a beautiful Mercury Direct day. And until next time, bye guys.